hello there now we're currently unloaded kind of um, let's see here weighing only 15.3 tons when I was kind of fully loaded earlier I weighed, weighed uh, 21 tons so it's a little bit of difference see if it's in driving level contact workshop active safety malfunction electrical fault yeah typical Volvo with your electrical faults LCS disabled, it's this <coughs> warning thing for cars in the dead angle. We need to refill washer fluid. All right, okay, so um, driving, uh, eco driving, like I'm going to do now same thing goes for trailer if you have trailer um, only that you gotta start engine braking or help braking using the engine brake or retarder a lot earlier a lot earlier basically than you do now and just driving an unloaded truck it's gonna be really really powerful Of course, preferably cruise all the time as low as possible in the green field of the RPM garage. And now it's not really engine braking so good, so I had to push the regular brakes there. Um, so you gotta always really plan ahead to keep your eyesight very long forward. Now I was talking, so I couldn't really. Um, focus on that but the main thing which is so easy is to keep your distance a very long distance all the time of course if you know there's no risk that nobody's going to break or you're going to accelerate up ahead it's gonna be higher speed then you should not keep so very long distance maybe you should decrease the distance but otherwise Driving in places like this definitely have a long distance really helps as you can see right now I'm having to use the regular brakes here again Just because I didn't plan and keep longer distance. Otherwise, I could just use the regular help brakes and uh, using that um, Really takes away all the wear on the regular brakes so uh, you don't get any worn brake pads. It's also good for people's health and the environment. It doesn't release this brake pad material. So, um, eco driving really is, uh, consists of like three parts: help braking and uh, driving economically. You know, planning and gaining up speed fast. You know. It's basically the, uh, the driving and also of course you need to plan your route like try not to drive too much unnecessarily <clears throat> for example if you have your trailer to one store and the truck to another store and you're gonna have to go back to the same place as you came from that it might be wise to park the trailer there somewhere in the in the sort of way that you're gonna go back to um, in that way you don't have to drag around the trailer back and forth unnecessarily although it might be easier not having to disconnect the connect all the time but it's really good to think stuff like that 
for the environment, you know. Here I have this eco driving computer, by the way, which you can see shows green stuff when I'm. And now I'm using the regular brakes, and the red goes on, so that's bad. And here's my overall stats: hard braking, 0.0%. Over speed, that's when I'm going above 80, 82, 0.7%. Idling 20% because I need to idle to have the refrigerator on. It's one of those refrigerators that goes on the truck's engine. Just echo rolling down here, gaining speed in the downhill. Here you can see my braked away energy that's using the regular brakes 14.3%. And the rest down here, those are those green things down here as well. Uh, roll on and zero gas. So, roll on is when it's coasting. Uh, and it's you know flat usually as you see now it's turning green and the zero gas is basically just when I don't use any gas Put it in automatic and let it coast here. You can put it on the cruise control. The cruise control is pretty good for fuel economy, I think. On these Volvos, you also have adaptive cruise control, so it automatically automatically keeps a long distance to the car up ahead, and you can select the distance as well. I think through these two buttons here, but this truck does not have that feature. At least two, two buttons does nothing. <laughs> Alright, so now we have another circulation coming up here, so we can just press the zero, keep it in gear, no need to echo coast or roll in neutral as we're going to brake anyway. And now we can start engine braking here a little bit. Sometimes it might be good to pop it into manual if you don't want the engine brake to engage a lower gear because that takes time and it can kind of ruin your braking especially if, especially if you're close to the circulation and you want to use the help brake all the way in and then you can have it in manual and it won't you know switch to a lower gear when you don't want it to So the cruise control is good because if you're not using it, um, you might gas, like increasing your speed all the time without you knowing, but the cruise control keeps the speed at one uh, place so it doesn't push the gas all the time unnecessarily. So that's why the cruise control is good. But when you know that you're going to brake, make sure you disengage the cruise control early. And here it's a huge curve. I think everybody is going in the left lane is going to go to um, Nina's Hamn, where I'm going to go to. That's why I'm going to get to keep this lane. And uh, echo driving with a fully loaded truck and trailer, that's also a whole different thing when doing it in uh, motorway and you have uphills and downhills. Then uh, basically you um, 
You can also set the cruise control and there's an automatic here, echo function. So you can set the echo level on these newer trucks, the Scania's also have this. So on this you press echo and then you select it, uh, the level you want by uh, pushing this. So you can select like, how many stars. So you can set it to maximum and that means if you have the cruise control set to 61 as you can see, it will before the hill it will decrease to 56 before the hill to save fuel and then after the hill it will increase to 69 i wish it were with a fully loaded truck and trailer because then you can really properly show you how to eco drive you're standing gotta be very very early on the engine brake and really plan ahead more and i think it's nice that you drive with load because you can really you know these trucks are designed to be driven with load so you can really like feel the truck more